Hello everyone! We will be solving an example para sa differential equation ng linear coefficients in two variables. We have to obtain the general solution for our DE, 2x minus 5y plus 3dx minus 2x plus 4y minus 6dy is equal to 0. Ayusin muna natin yung form niya kasi ang operation is subtraction. Gawin natin siyang addition, so retain yung m natin, yung kasama ni dx, and then for this part, gagawin natin siyang addition and then balik rin natin yung sign ng nasa loob ng ating grouping symbol. So this becomes negative 2x minus 4y plus 6 times dy is equal to 0. Then, kunin natin yung dalawang linear equations natin. We have our 2x minus 5y plus 3. Let this be our equation 1. Tapos etong part naman na to, our n, let this be our equation 2. Kunin natin yung intersection nila, yung h at k na intersection, eto by using substitution. So let us solve for the value of x. Ilipat muna natin sa kabila si negative 5y tsaka si 3. So this becomes positive 5y minus 3 and then i-divide natin siya kay 2 para si x na lang yung matira. So this will become x is equal to positive 5 over 2y and then eto will become negative 3 over 2. Kaya eto na yung ating value ng ating x. Then, proceed tayo sa ating equation 2. So, we have our equation 2 here. I-substitute natin yung value na to dito sa ating x. So, doing that, we have negative 2 times 5 over 2y minus 3 over 2. Then, pag minultiply natin si 2, mawawala na yung ating denominator. And then, mababag yung sign. So, this will become negative 5y. Then, yung negative magiging positive. So, this becomes plus 3 minus 4y plus 6 is equal to 0. Then, let us simplify. Negative 5y minus 4y, this becomes negative 9y. And then, yung constant na part natin is 3 and 6, this becomes positive 9. Pag nilipat natin sa kabila, we have negative 9y is equal to negative 9. The value of y will become 1. And then, ibalik na natin yung value ng y natin para makuha yung value ng x. So, using our equation 1, so we have 2 x minus 5y, yung y gagawin natin 1, so this becomes 2x minus 5 times 1 plus 3 is equal to 0. And then this is negative 5 plus 3, this becomes negative 2. And then, yung negative 2 na yun, pag nilipat natin sa kabila, that will become positive 2. So, we will be arriving at 2x is equal to 2, and then multiplying both sides of the equation by 1 over 2, our x is equal to 1. So, our h is equal to 1, our k is equal to 1. Then, our hk is equal to 1, 1. Gamitin na natin to so that we can proceed with our next step ng ating solution. Using hk as 1, 1, then we let x be equal to u plus h and then y is equal to v plus k. Ang h natin is positive 1, ang k natin is also positive 1. So, this will become x is equal to u plus 1, ang y natin is equal to v plus 1. Kasi again, ang k natin is 1. Then getting its derivative, we have dx is equal to du, dy is equal to dv. Then balikan natin yung ating original equation. We have 2x minus 5y plus 3 dx plus negative 2x minus 4y plus 6 dy is equal to 0. Lahat ng x papalta natin ng u plus 1. Lahat ng y papalta natin ng v plus 1. Then same goes, dito naman, yung dx natin ay magiging du, yung dy natin ay magiging dv. Using the substitution, we will be arriving here. So, this is 2. Yung x ay naging u plus 1. And then, yung y naging v plus 1. And then, yung dx ay naging du. Same goes dun sa ating buong equation. And then, after this process, we have to simplify. Ang mangyayari, we have our 2 times u here. This will become 2u. The negative 5 times v, this will become negative 5v. For our constants, this is 2 times 1. This is positive 2. And then, i-add natin siya sa negative 5. So, negative 5 plus 2, that is negative 3 plus 3. That will become 0. Kaya, eto na lang yung natira sa part na to. Dito naman sa kabila, we have our variables. Negative 2 times u, kaya siya ay naging negative 2u. And then, negative 4 times v, this becomes negative 4v. For the constants, negative 2 times 1, negative 2. And then, this is negative 4 times 1, this is negative 4. Plus 6, this is 0. Kaya, ang natira na lang ay yung part na to. And then, multiply to dv, syempre. Now, we arrive sa isang differential equation na homogeneous. Lahat ng terms natin have degree 1. So, to solve for that, we have to pick our m, tung part na to, 
as a function of u and v. Tapos, ilelet natin, kasi ito yung pinili natin, introducing a new variable m, we let u is equal to m times v. And then, getting its derivative, this is du, and then dito naman, we apply product rule of differentiation. Kaya ito ay naging m dv plus v dm. And then, ipapalit na natin lahat ng value ng u, gagawin nating mv, yung du natin, gagawin nating m dv plus v dm. Doing that, so this is 2u naging mv minus 5v and then yung du naging mdv plus vdm plus negative 2, yung u ay naging mv, so this is negative mv, minultiply natin sa dv minus 4v dv. Then, isimplify natin itong part na to, so we will be multiplying 2mv to mdv, so this becomes 2m squared vdv next to mv times vdm so this is 2 mv squared dm and then negative 5v times mdv negative 5 mv dv negative 5v times vdm so this is negative 5v squared dm eto wala naman tayong ginawa so this is negative 2 mv dv minus 4 dv is equal to 0 then we have common terms meron tayong negative 5 mv dv sa negative 2 mv dv. So, let us perform the operation. This is negative 7 mv dv. Pagsamahin lahat ng dv, so this is 2m squared v dv. Tapos, etong dalawa ay negative 7 mv dv. Tapos, meron pa tayong negative 4 v dv dito sa part na to. Working kay dm, so meron tayong 2 mv squared dm. And then, meron din tayong negative 5 v squared dm. Then, trabahuhin na natin siya para maging separable na yung ating differential equation. Factoring out the common terms, eto ang common ay CV tsaka CDV. Then, ang natira sa loob, this is 2M squared minus 7M and then ang natira naman dito ay negative 4. So, we have our V times 2M squared minus 7M minus 4DV. And then, para naman kay DM, ang common naman ay CV squared DM. Ang matitira sa loob, pag pinactor out natin sila, is si 2m minus 5. Then, dapat lahat ng kasama ni dv ay function of v, lahat ng kasama ni dm ay function of m. So, ang kailangan nating tanggalin ay etong part na to, tsaka etong part na to. So, we multiply our equation by 1 all over 2m squared minus 7m minus 4 times v squared. So, ang matitira sa part na to, mawawala etong part na to, and then, just v all over v squared. So, that is 1 over v times dv. That is dv over v. And then, for this part naman, mawawala si v squared. Kaya ang natira is 2m minus 5 all over 2m squared minus 7m minus 4 dm. Then, to simplify further, i-factor natin yung nasa denominator using trial and error. We will be arriving at 2m plus 1 times m minus 4. Then, separable na yung ating differential equation. We have a function of v times dv We have a function of m kasama ni dm. So, to solve for the solution, we take the integral of our whole equation. The integral of this part, dv over v, plus integral naman, etong part na to kasama ni dm. Now, let us proceed with our integration process. Etong part na to, ln of v lang yan, wala tayong problema. Ito yung medyo trabaho. So, to solve this, gagamit tayo ng concepts ng partial fraction. Since we have two distinct terms sa ating denominator, ito yung form ng ating partial fraction. Then, we multiply yung buong equation dun sa nasa denominator para maging single line na lang siya. So, this is 2m minus 5 kasi minultiply natin dito. And then, for this part, ang mawawala naman ay si 2m plus 1. Ang matitira ay si m minus 4. Imumultiply natin kay a. So, we arrive here. And then, for this part, mawawala naman si m minus 4. Ang matitira ay si 2m plus 1. Imumultiply natin kay b. So, working on our left side, meron tayong 2. So, writing that, we have our, for our m sub 1, we have our 2. And then, eto, kasama ni a, meron tayong 1 na m. So, this is just 1 times a. So, this is a. And then, for this part, 2m. So, 1. 2 times b. So, this is equal to 2b. Then, solving for the value of a, lipat lang natin si 2b sa kabila. So, this is a is equal to negative 2b plus 2. Now, we work on our constant m sub 2. 0. So, we have our negative 5 here. And then, dito naman, meron tayong negative 4 times a. Kaya siya ay naging negative 4a. Dito, meron tayong 1. 1 times b is just equal to b. Then, we solve for the values by substitution. Ipalit natin yung value ng a 
dito. Doing that, we have our negative 5 is equal to negative 4 times etong value ng a natin which is negative 2b plus 2 and then i-add natin si b. Then we simplify, we have our negative 4 times negative 2b so this becomes positive 8b plus b kaya eto ay magiging 9b and the negative 4 times 2 this becomes negative 8. So solving for the value of b, ililipat lang natin si 8 sa kabila so this becomes positive 8 minus 5 kaya eto ay magiging positive 3. And then i-multiply natin yung buong equation by 1 over 9 para mawala si 9 dito. So this is 3 all over 9. In lowest term, that is equal to 1 over 3. And then kapag kaginamit natin itong equation na to, ipalit natin yung value ng 1 over 3 kay B. So this becomes 2 times 1 over 3, that is 2 over 3. Pag nilipat natin sa kabila, that is 2 minus 2 over 3. And that is equal to 4 over 3. May value sa tayo ng ating A at B. So i-substitute na natin siya dito. Kapag pinalit na natin dito, ibalik na natin itong part na to dito sa ating integration. So that will become 4 over 3, yung value ng A natin, all over 2M plus 1, plus yung B natin, which is 1 over 3, pinalit na natin dito, over M minus 4, multiplied dun sa ating DM. Now, we take its integral, sa in difference rule, paghiwalayin lang natin siya, so this is dv all over v, ilalabas natin yung constant na 3, ang natira sa loob ay si dm all over 2m plus 1, and then for this part, nilabas ulit yung constant na 1 over 3, ang natira ay si dm all over m minus 4, this is all equal to 0. Continuing with our integration process, so nandito na tayo, kung mapansin nyo, we have our 2m plus 1 dito sa ating denominator. Pag kinuha natin yung derivative nito, that is 2dm. Kaso ang problema natin, dm lang yun nasa numerator natin. To compensate for that, what we will be doing is magmumultiply tayo ng 1 over to sa labas para magkaroon tayo ng 2dm dito sa ating numerator. So yung nasa denominator, ang derivative niya ay yung nasa numerator. This will lead to ln. For this part, wala tayong problema kasi ang derivative ng m minus 4 is just equal to dm. Kaya dito lang tayo gumalaw. Then, taking the integral, we have dv over v, this is just equal to ln of v, tapos eto, 4 all over 6, lowest term is 2 over 3, and then, yung natira dito, this integral is ln of 2m plus 1, and then eto, 1 over 3, its integral na nasa loob ay ln of m minus 4, and then our constant, ginawa ko ulit siyang ln of c, kasi the ln of a constant is still a constant. Ngayon, tapos na tayo dun sa ating integration process. What we need to do is just simplification. Yung lahat ng m natin, lahat ng v, ibabalik natin in terms of x and y. Pero para mas mapadali tayo, galawin muna natin yung ating equation. Let us multiply our equation by 3 para mawala yung fraction natin. Doing that, this becomes 3 ln of v. Ito, mawawala na si denominator, kaya ito ay naging 2 ln of 2m plus 1, nawala si 1 over 3, kaya ln of m minus 4 is equal to ln of c. Then, applying power rule sa logarithm, para mawala yung constants dito sa unahan, ilagay natin sila as exponents nung nasa loob na terms natin. And simultaneously, since lahat sila ay addition, ang operation ng ating ln, we can take the products nung ating terms na nasa loob ni ln. So, inangat yung values nung nasa unahan, and then, dahil addition, we take their product. So, this is all equal to ln of, inakit si 3, kaya ito ay naging v cube, inakit si 2, kaya naging 2m plus 1 squared, tapos retain si m minus 4. Again, applying the rules of logarithm. Then, pareho silang ln, para mas masimplify pa natin siya, we take yung terms as exponents ng base e. If we do that, this will become e ln ng lahat ng to, and then e ln of c. With this, we can extract yung values nung ating nasa loob nung ln. Kaya this will become v cubed times 2m plus 1 squared times m minus 4. Same here, kaya ang matitira na lang ay si c. So, naging mas malinis yung itsura nung ating equation. Pero still, na kay v pa rin siya, na kay m. So, una muna natin siyang ibalik by substituting yung values nung ating m. So, since nung homogeneous natin, yung process kanina, we let u be equal to mv, then m is equal to u over v. Ipapalit natin ito sa lahat ng value ng m, so this will become v cubed, 2 times m becomes u over v, plus 1, and then yung square natin, here, and then 
yung m natin naging u over v minus 4 still equal to c. Then taking yung denominator natin na v para magkaroon tayo ng common na denominator, so we will make it as 2u plus v all over v kasi ang v over v is this equal to 1. Here naman, kinuha naman natin si v, so this is u minus 4v all over v is equal to c. Then, yung exponent natin, we have 2 here. Let us apply yung exponent both dun sa ating numerator at sa ating denominator. So, our equation will then look like this. 2u plus v squared all over v squared. So, yung process natin, naka-arrive tayo sa operation na multiplication. Kung si natin, we have v cube here. Ito, meron tayong v squared times v sa ating denominator. If we multiply this, this will become v cube. And then, v cube all over v cube, mawawala na to, all will become equal to 1. Kaya ang matitira na lang ay 2u plus v squared times u minus 4v is equal to c. And hindi pa tayo tapos. Bakit? Kasi yung terms natin ay nasa u at v pa. So, kailangan natin siyang ilagay in terms of x and y. Doing that, but dun sa ating linear equations, we let x be equal to u plus h. Ang h natin ay 1. We let y be equal to v plus k. Ang k natin is also 1. So, the values of u and v in terms of x and y is just equal to u is equal to x minus 1. Nilipat lang. v is equal to y minus 1. Substituting lahat ng values na to dito sa ating equation, we will be arriving here. So, this is 2. u becomes x minus 1. v becomes y minus 1 squared. Same here. Then, we simplify. So, this becomes 2x plus y. Kaso, ito ay magiging 2 times negative 1. So, this is negative 2 minus 1. So, this will become 2x plus y minus 3. And then, yung square, wag kalimutan. And then, so here, we have x minus 1. So, retain siya. Minus, this will become 4y. Tapos, ito naman ay magiging positive 4. So, 4 minus 1, that is 3. And this is our simplified solution for our differential equation involving linear coefficients in two variables. Music